Ladies and gentlemen, an honor to a super cop. The badge you wear, it is polished and shiny, looks so fine. Once you earn it, you have to toe the line. The minute you wear it upon your chest, it becomes a symbol that you are the best. It means honesty, integrity, and fairness to all. Your life is never your own, but at the public's call. Night or day, any hour, it makes you a mark. It does not protect you from a shot in the dark. Over the years, the shine starts to fade, but brighter steel is the man it's made. The untold saga of his sacristan. It is a chilling wintry night in Chambal Valley. The wind was a torrent of darkness among the ghastly trees. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor. And the super cop came riding, riding, riding. And he rode with a jewel twinkle under the jewel sky. Yonder in a small hut, a mother consoles a child with a lulabi. Here comes the super cop with a glide. Here comes the super cop with a glide. The sound of the horse's hoops is more melodious than her song. And the baby lies asleep with the assurance long. And the mother heart is put upon the stirrup. And the sound of the iron on the stone. And how silence starts softly backward when the plunging hoops were gone. Who is the super cop? Who is the superman? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I am telling the story of RPS Bikash Bhaibhav, the super cop, Honorable DIG ATS Bihar. He strictly follows the legacy of his ancestor cops in sanitizing the decades of Chambal. He demolished the fortification of Naxalites like a castle of sand and hoisted the Indian tricolor at Rotas Fort. He also showed the power and skill in taming the political mighty who tried to influence and subdue him for refraining himself from taking action against the student wing leaders of his party. His action to the wrongdoers made him the symbol of justice. And he was flooded with love from the common people. The exuberance of love was showered by the people of Bagha on his transfer. In lacrimos they shouted, we will not let you go. We will not let you go. But the dutiful soldier responded to the call of the duty. He took up the castle upon his shoulder and started his next assignment. For remembered the famous quote, I have a promise to keep and I have many miles to go before I sleep. And I have many miles to go before I sleep. If the world of Superkop were a sea, then he would have liked to become a mariner and would have explored the unseen. Like the famous poet Gerald Goud, his wonder thus knows no bound. He soliloquized it to himself beyond the east, the sunrise, beyond the west, the sea, and east and west of wonder, thirst that will not let me be. It works like a madness, dear, to bid me say goodbye for the sea call, for the stars call, and oh, the call of the sky. He sashed himself with the exploration of the heritage, archaeological sites to know the unknown and to hear the untold stories of the remote past. He tries to hear the whisper of history through the wind. Like ancient rulers, of the history, he attends to the regular darbar to hear people's complaints and gives them justice. He proves himself to be the embodiment of the pen, his life, gun, his profession, camera, his passion. And the fourth dimension is teaching. 
He likes to teach the young generation to motivate them for a greater purpose and for a better cause. We hope to get a philosopher teacher like Plato or Aristotle in future. Hope for the best. <laughs>